ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today as a proud woman who have achieved academic success. However, my story is not one of privilege or entitlement, but instead it is story of perseverance and determination, and of and of the countless girls who have been denied opportunity that I have been so fortunate to receive. Growing up in China, I was the second daughter in my family. Due to the one-child policy back in the 1980s and 1990s, my family really wanted a boy in the family, so I was、uh, sent away to live with my uncle and aunt. But luckily, I was、uh, able to receive an education and finally attend university. However, many girls are not as fortunate as I am.、Mm, well, girls in rural China face a number of challenges when they are trying to access education. Some of these challenges include, firstly, poverty. Um, many families in the areas of rural China face financial problems, and they are trying to make ends meet. And secondly, traditional gender rules. In many rural China, girls are expected to stay at home and help with household chores, while boys are encouraged to pursue their dreams and to、uh, obtain their goals. And thirdly, lack of schools. In some areas, there are simply not enough school for every student to accommodate all the students in the village. And、uh, fourthly, will be the distance.、Um, sometimes the girls have to go over the bridge, climb over the mountains to go to their school, and they may face harassment. Or assault on the way to school, and this can be dangerous. And number five, that would be the cultural biases. In some areas, there is still a cultural bias against the girls' education. In some families, they would consider a waste of resources to send their daughters to attend higher education. They would rather prefer their daughters to marry off at a young age. These challenges are deeply entrenched and very complex, and require a sustained and coordinated effort. However, by investing in girls' education, we can help break the cycle of poverty and inequality that has held back too many girls in rural China. My dream have always been to help these girls, and today I want to introduce a amazing lady who has been a inspiration to me. Her name is Zhang Guimei. She was born in 1954 in a rural China village.、Um, her family was. Very poor, and their parents are unable to send her to school. So she taught herself to read and write by learning old textbooks. She is determined to receive an education and change her destiny. So eventually, she was able to attend teacher's college and became a teacher herself. In 1985, when she graduated from her college, she was sent to teach in a rural primary school in Yunnan Province. She was shocked when she first arrived in that school because she realized that very few of the girls were able to attend school regularly. And most of the girls dropped out even before they can finish primary school. Determined to make a difference, Zhang Guimei used her own savings to rent buildings. She recruited teachers. She provided free tuition, and she even visited. Surrounding village to go to the girls' families to persuade them to send their daughters to her school. 
The school was a huge success, and over the years, Zhang Guimei was able to expand it to include a middle school and a high school. Today, her school has over 2,800 students, and over 90% of the students were girls. And many of her graduates were able to attend top universities in China and abroad. Zhang Guimei's work has not gone unnoticed. In 2008, she was awarded the May 1st Labor Medal, which is the highest medal China worker can receive. And she was also named one of the most one of the most 100 influential people by Time magazine in 2013. Zhang Guimei's story is a powerful reminder of the importance of education and the difference that one person can make. Her dedication and passion it can have changed the lives of thousands of girls in rural China, and her legacy will continue to inspire generations to come. We often hear the phrase, educate a girl, educate a nation, and it couldn't be more true. When we invest in girls' education, we not only give them the opportunity to fulfill the potential, but we also create a ripple effect that benefit their families, the communities, and the countries. When girls are educated, they are more likely to earn higher wages, have healthier families, and contribute to economic growth. So let's break down the barriers that prevent girls from, uh, from accessing education and give them the chance to thrive. Because when girls are empowered, they can achieve anything they set their minds to. Thank you for listening, and let's work together towards a world where every girl has opportunity to grow, to learn, and to succeed. Thank you.